Hi, I'm Sue Ellum and I'm a tarot reader and have been for about 25 years. And I use the mythic tarot, which are based on Greek mythology. And I'm Carrie Bellino. I'm an intuitive Reiki master teacher and a spiritual life coach. And I just have a quick announcement for anyone listening to this on my podcast or on SoundCloud. I want to direct you over to our, my YouTube channel. It's just Carrie Bellino. And that way you can actually see the video. If you care to look at the cards that Sue is pulling, um, if you understand tarot and, and that's meaningful for you, you'll probably get a lot out of watching the cards that she's pulling. So thank you for listening um, to, to Apple Podcast or SoundCloud, but I also want to invite you over for the visual on YouTube. Yes, that's really good. And I don't have a podcast, so please just check out Carrie's. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. So today's question, it's a short one. Yeah. How do I trust what my intuition is telling me? Okay. Okay, well, it takes a bit of work, a bit of study, a bit of learning about it, because um, it's difficult in the beginning when we start off with our intuition, because we think, oh, it's our emotions. We think that um, we're just making it up. Or it sometimes intuition um, sometimes pushes you in really awkward places so it's uncomfortable as well so you think nah I you know I don't I don't trust this I'm going to stick with the, the tried and true so it is kind of learning about new things and learning to use your intuition is something like that and the, the way I I say to kind of clients that come to me is that if I can say to you do you want a cup of tea do you want a cup of coffee would you like a you know a glass of juice or hot chocolate, what, you, what would you like? And sometimes people will say, oh, coffee, because that's, that's what they always say. And they don't even, they don't think, well, actually, I should like a glass of water today. But, you don't, but that doesn't even, they don't even tune in to what they would really like. They just, they just trot out the same response. So my, my advice is always listen to what your body is telling you with everything and see what kind of makes your heart stir in a way. What kind of thing, oh yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Um, and just go with that. That is um, a good way when it feels right. Even if it's not something you've done before, tune into your body, stop your head, your head talking. And that is the way to start. But it does take practice. You, you don't get it all the all at once but start off small just just little things that aren't life-changing and then build up until it becomes um, part of your life it's also really being it, it, you're having to be quite um, determined once you get on this intuitive path because there'll be plenty of people saying oh yeah no, you know no you know, you say you want to stay and read a book. No, you know, come with us. We're going out. And there's, there's going to be quite a bit of pressure on you, especially if you've always kind of gone along with the crowd with, with, the, with things. And suddenly you're not doing that anymore because your intuition is telling you to do something different. That you could come under quite a bit of pressure to just, you know, go along, go along with the crowd and not change. Because believe me, when you start following your intuition, it gets stronger. There's plenty of times that um, you will be changing your own particular habits, the, 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 your ways of being that other people have got used to. So it will get you thinking in a new way as well. But it will lead you to this place of peace and tranquility, knowing your heart, your, where your heart is. And feeling your dreams are about to come to fruition because ultimately 
our intuition is our higher self, it's our higher purpose. It's trying to direct us to what we're here for, what will make us happy, what will make us fulfilled, uh, what, where we will be most at use. And we won't get there if we constantly listen to what our heads have been telling us what, and living in the past of what we've always done. Because what's the saying? You know, if you always do what you've always done, you'll never, <laughs> you'll, you'll never, you'll never change, or whatever the second part of it is. Uh, you'll always get what you've always got. That's the one, you know. Um, and so your intuition is leading you to new pastures. And it will bring peace and tranquility and a feeling of um, achievement, a feeling of fulfillment that you won't get otherwise. And it's about, you know, this is using well-balanced thought and judgment as well. You know, so if your intuition, do you think it's your intuition is, is, go, is saying, well, you know, jump off that cliff, you know, I'm sure that you'll be fine then check on in with that. If you feel as, as though it's putting you, you're putting you in danger, always make sure that you check in with your head as well and don't just push, because sometimes our emotions can get tangled up with it. So you've got to make sure that your in, intuition is actually giving you a very clear message. So ask for a sign. Um, you know, sometimes we'll do things that we feel kind of a bit on the edge. So ask for a sign, say, show me something. And sometimes you'll walk into a shop and suddenly a book will just, you know, pop out, out at you or somebody will say something or there'll, there'll be something and then you'll say, okay, I know I'm on the right path. So don't just, especially if it's a big life um, choice and you'll, and you'll start, you're just learning about your intuition. It does take a while before you can ascertain whether it's intuition or it's, or it's emotion. So just make sure your head's engaged as well and you're not looking at it all from an emotional point of view. So that's just a, a word of caution there. But those are the cards. So I'm going to second that um, what Sue said, that our souls are communicating to us through our intuition and our souls see the big picture. They know why we came here. They know what we wanted to accomplish. And it holds that part of us holds a, a wider vision than this 3d body can with this 3d mind. So that communication does need to be practiced. I do intuitive Reiki. I tap into what my intuition is telling me, what I'm picking up from that, per that soul's purpose that I'm talking with, the, the person in front of me or whomever. And everyone can do that. What I do is not special. The only thing that I've done that may be a little different than other people is that I've practiced it every single day. And I honed it with lots and lots and lots of clients. So I am well versed in knowing what's mine, what's theirs, what's um, intuition, what's just random. I've done the work. So if you want to tap into what your soul is telling you, then I suggest you practice every single day. And you practice with those really small things. And you look for the successes and the fails. So Every single day, ask yourself, what do I feel like I want to eat for lunch today? What do, I, do I feel like I want to go to the grocery store? Do I feel like I want to call this friend? Whatever the thoughts are that come to you. And then act upon what makes your heart sing or what you feel or get as a gut feeling that is a no. And then look for the validations. So, you know... Peggy Sue comes into your life in your head and you're like, oh, I should probably call Peggy Sue. So then see how it feels. Do I feel like I want to do that? Does it feel right? Yeah, it feels right. So you call her and she says, I was just thinking about you and I was going to call you later this afternoon. Well, there's your validation that this is what you should do. Or she says, thank God you called. I really need a friend. 
So watch for those validations because the more validations you get, the more you'll trust the, the intuitive hits. And even, you know, even with like, what should I eat for lunch today? You'll find that you'll get energy or you'll feel nourished or it'll taste great or whatever it is. And you'll feel satisfied. Okay. That felt good. That felt like it was the right decision for me. So practice, 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 practice. Um, and because there's big things coming. There always are. We're a traumatic humanity. We love to engage in trauma because it helps us evolve and grow. And I've said that in previous episodes. So the big things are going to continue to show up. I'm hoping as a humanity, we can decide that we don't really, really need the traumatic ones anymore. That's what I'm hoping we're going to head for. But fingers crossed. In the meantime, when your big things show up, you will be well rehearsed and well practiced on listening to what your heart is telling you, listening to what your gut is telling you, the yes or the no. So when the big decisions come up, you won't struggle so much. You'll have a gut feeling of what you want or what you need out of the situation. There you have it. There you go. I think, I think we've covered it pretty well. Okay. So, as always, subscribe, like, and share. And um, it's a goodbye from me. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.